to another vlog. Starting off today's vlog on a little bit of a bad sour note. <laughs> I just want to rant for two seconds. It is Friday morning so I'm starting my weekend vlog a day early just because I felt like it. But last night I worked late night so I finished at 9.30. I ended up getting out late just because of the circumstances and it just sucks. I get home late, I shower, I go to bed, I'm awake from trying to work hard, then I can't fall asleep and then I've got to get up at 6 the next day to start at 7.30. So it's a little bit rough but like do not the biggest issue. However, last night's shift was just not my favorite. A lot of things went wrong. Not a big fan of yesterday. Had a bit of a cry on the way home, but then I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? It's gonna be a great day. I'm just gonna leave tomorrow behind me. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna treat myself and get a coffee from Zarafa's on the way to work. You get to finish at 3.30. It's no big deal. Today's gonna be a good day. And that's what I was convincing myself. Hmm. So I went to the office, I ordered my coffee, I brought my keep cup like the good environmentally friendly person I am And I was halfway to work and I went to pick it up for the first time to drink out of it And I picked it up like this and the lid was not screwed on properly And I spilt half of my blended coffee all over me and my seat I wish I could show you what it looked like, but I have mopped it all up now. So normally I wear a denim jacket over my uniform to hide my logo, because that's just the rules of my workplace. But I have used it to mop up my pants, my chair, my passenger chair, my handbrake, my cup holder. I'm over it. One, I paid seven bucks for a coffee and I only got to drink half of it. And two, I'm all sticky and I have a seven hour shift in front of me. I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm just mad. Ah, oh, like of course it happened this morning. I was in such a good mood. That's my little life update. I've worked today from 7.30 until 3 or 3.30, I don't even know. I'll know when I write the shift plan for the day. After work today, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I know that I'm going to go to a 5.30 gym class. Been pretty slack with the gym this week because last week I went so many times that I needed a rest day but ended up taking like a whole week off. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to go back tonight and then we're going to go tomorrow as well. So, but, oh, why? What is happening to me? I just hope that today is better than last night and this morning. I just really, really hope so because I cannot deal with another bad day because I think I might have a meltdown. I might just break down in front of all my staff members and they're going to think their manager is a psychopath. So pray for me. I'm going to go into work. See you on the other side. Seven hours later. I finished work. I made it out alive. The day was okay. Wasn't incredible, but wasn't horrible. So I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fine. I made my third coffee of the day. Do I have a problem? Yes. Am I going to stop? Probably not. I do feel like the tiniest bit dizzy and like a bit sick in the stomach. So I probably shouldn't be drinking another coffee. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel a bit lightheaded. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to lie down for a little bit. Chill out. Have a great Friday afternoon. Let's go do that. I'm all dressed, ready for the gym. I have on this white singlet just from Cotton On Body. I also have my Lorna Jane tights on and then just my all black Nike. And I have lint all over my pants. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. It's currently 20 past 6. Just finished up a Fit 45 class. On the gym's class timetable, Friday afternoon says Fit 45, but the trainer always switches it up and does something different, which is actually really fun. And normally it's the same people there every Friday who like expect that it's going to be different. It's a very quiet class. They're like a quarter of the amount of people that are normally there. And we do MRAP, which is as many rounds as possible. So he does up a little circuit. You have to do 10 reps at each station and you have to do as many rounds as you can and wrap. And it's just hard work. You go for three rounds of 10 minutes. So you're working for like 10 minutes at a time with no break and it's very hard but that's done for the day. I'm going to be back here at 7am tomorrow so that's kind of rough but I'm going to go home, shower, scrub off this old fake tan because it's so bad. I'll probably put on a fresh tan after that and then I'm going to eat dinner and go to bed. I'm very excited about it. And a brand new Good morning, friends.
friends. It's Saturday morning and I'm gonna go work out. That's it. <laughs> Okay, Jonas Brothers needs to chill. Look at this mascara. This is the before and after. Are you kidding me? This is the quality angle, but this is the Essence Volume Stylist mascara. Would 10 out of 10 recommend go to your local Target and pick this up. It's like six bucks. It's incredible. I've gotten ready and I'm gonna head to Zarafa's. This is my outfit. My t-shirt is from Princess Polly. My jeans are from Cotton On. And I just have my white Connie's on because I live in my Converse, apparently. <laughs> I have a bunch of vlogs to edit, so I plan on being at Zarafa's for a while. I need coffee so bad. Just after 9 30 i've stopped vlogging for the rest of the afternoon slash evening but i've had a pretty lame night no reason in particular just being lame so i'm gonna quickly have a shower and just hop into bed it's over today and i'm just gonna go to sleep to fix it a plus advice Hello friends! I'm continuing on this weekend in my life. It is Monday today and it's 4.30 and I had work from 10 to 4 today so a super quick little shift. Really good, really happy with it. I quickly got changed after work and I'm heading straight to the gym. There's a class that's on at 4.30. I'm obviously going to be late because it's 4.30 and I'm driving there right now. But hopefully I only get there and I just miss like the warm-up and the demo and I can just join in and no one will know. And then I need to go grocery shopping and then meal prep and just have a great night. Let's go, come on now. Let's keep going. I finished up at the gym. It was actually a really good class. I only missed the warm up, the demo, and two stations. So I just ran in and jumped in with a group of girls who seemed really nice. And it was a really good class. It was one of those classes where I just felt really fit, which is my favorite. <laughs> it is now 5.30 and I'm heading into Coles. <laughs> Quality shot. And I'm going to do my weekly grocery shop. I'm determined this week to eat really, really good. If I'm honest, I've been super lazy with my eating. I'll work out heaps and then go home and not eat great. So I am determined to start having my wraps for work again and have a good healthy breakfast just get back on track eating wise I don't find going to the gym that hard and I don't really have to have a lot of motivation to go to the gym I just like force myself to go but eating is such a big struggle for me it has been my entire life so I'm just gonna slowly try to make it a habit to eat better let's go This 
lighting is absolutely horrible. I apologize. But we're going to do a grocery haul nonetheless. For dinner this week, I'm planning on having quiche, which I'm probably going to make tonight if I have enough time. So I got a carton of eggs. I also got some ham for the quiche, some capsicum for the quiche, and lots of milk. I got long life milk just because it's what I always get and it's easy to just keep in the cupboard until you need it. But I also just got some normal milk. I don't think I've ever bought normal milk from like the fridge section since I moved out because long life milk is so much more convenient. But if I'm making quiche and I'm having oats for breakfast and I'm having cereal and stuff, I'm going to go through my milk pretty quick. So I thought that I might just try this out, see if it tastes better, see if I like it more than long life. You know, it was a it was a dollar, not an issue. Uh, I just want milk to taste like real milk. This tastes like full cream milk and only 2% fat. I also picked up two kind of fun things. Not really fun at all, but they're not groceries. I got some dry shampoo because I work out a fair amount of times in a week and I don't like washing my hair because I'm lazy. So I like dry shampoo. And I got the Batiste cherry flavor because it's my favorite. And I also picked up the Rimmel Wet Me Up Concealer. I've always wanted to try this, but I just never have. I don't know if this is going to be my shade. It's the lighter shade that they had there, but it was half price. So this was six bucks. So happy with that. I got two Pink Lady Apples and I also got some chicken for my wraps. Again, for my wraps, I got an iceberg lettuce. And to have on the side of my quiche, I thought it would just be easier if I got a packet of frozen veg. Bird's Eye Australian Country Harvest Garden Mix. But yeah, I'm just going to have this on the side of my quiche for dinner this week. And last but not least, I got another packet of wraps. And that's that. I am going to... I think I'm pretty hungry, so I kind of want to have dinner now. But quiche is going to take a while to cook, so I'm just going to cook it now and get it out of the way. I also need to cook my chicken, which I could probably do while my quiche is cooking. I hate cutting and cooking up my chicken. Like... If I could pay someone to do it, I would. The Smiley Citrus and the Rachel Catherine both uploaded vlogs this afternoon. So I'm going to watch them while I cook my dinner. Enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> so far my quiche is in the oven I actually haven't checked them out in a while I should probably Ooh, it's in there cooking it's almost done I think I have a massive saucepan of chicken cooking I have my veggies prepped for my wraps I forgot to pick up cucumber but in my wraps I have chicken lettuce carrot and capsicum and then some sauces so that can go in my fridge for the week I'm very lazy so I find that if I braid up my carrot cut up all of my stuff for my wraps early on in the week I literally have no excuse to quickly spend two minutes of my morning making my lunch for work if I don't have stuff like this prepared to make my wrap it's gonna take me longer and I'll just convince myself out of it and I'll just say I'll buy something at work and that is not good for my health and not good for saving my money so that is my little tip is to just smash it all out on a Monday night and that way you don't have to do it for the rest of the week and it's great. I'm going to continue cooking my chicken. I'm also drinking a smoothie because I am tired of waiting for my quiche to cook. <laughs> and I'm also watching Aspen and Parker's Australia vlogs which is so so cool. It's so funny they're in Byron Bay and they're like at a cafe and they're like oh he got a poached egg. I've never seen one of them before and I'm like what? <laughs> I'm going to drink this and continue cooking my chicken and I'm going to eat my quiche soon. I'm so excited. It's a good time to be alive. Here is all my chicken. This is my quiche so I'm going to have like two pieces for dinner. I think that's the only really way I can think of cutting it up. I don't know if that's going to be too much or not enough or I don't even know but that's going to be my dinner for the week. Editing Georgia here to end off this vlog. I don't know what I did for the rest of the night or when I thought I was going to end off this vlog but apparently I just didn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sorry it was a bit of a mess for one minute. It was a weekend in my life and then it was just a regular vlog but then I didn't vlog for the rest of the week. I don't really know what I'm doing and I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video in the very near future. Bye. And I could easily lose my mind